Initially, I had some personal reservations. For whatever reason, I actually kind of shuddered. I actually had an ick factor. Oh, he did because oh. I was divorced with kids, and that's I a just, lot. That I just you went, know, that's a lot. When you marry someone who has children, who has a divorce, and you have to deal with all of that, that's a lot of work, and he already has a lot of work. I understand it now. If there is one storyline that has been hammered into our heads since the dawn of the Sister Wives universe, it's that Robin's ex-husband's bad and Cody is the knight in shining armor that swooped in and rescued the damsel in distress that was Robin against his better judgment. I mean, the dude overcame an ick factor with Robin and nary a plate of nachos in sight. The big ick with Robin was that she was divorced. Ew. With kids. Ugh. How do we get Cody in the running for sainthood? Because what a guy for taking on a woman coming from such unattractive circumstances. But Cody did this because Robin suffered in this marriage to this really bad guy. That's what we've been told year after year. Anytime the topic of Robin's ex-husband has come up. A teaser has been put out for the final installment of the season 18 one-on-one -on -one tell all. And basically what Cody says in it has way bigger implications. Essentially what he says here in this teaser is that we can't trust anything that he and Robin have said about Robin's divorce from her ex-husband. This is a big deal. We have a whole shit ton to talk about. Let's get into today's video. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Before we hop into the video topic, let's hear from today's video sponsor. I want to talk to you all about how I gave myself the gift of a better, more convenient laundry experience by switching to Earth Breeze. Pouring laundry detergent can be a frustrating experience because if you are like me, there is a high likelihood of spills and extra time cleaning up all of that blue goo. Earth Breeze Eco Sheets are about to make your life a whole lot easier. Earth Breeze Eco Sheets look like nothing you have ever seen in the detergent aisle. There's no measuring required. Just throw a sheet in with your laundry and watch it dissolve in all wash cycles, hot or cold. Earth Breeze is dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, and free of bleach and dyes. But do not fret, Earth Breeze fights everyday stains and odors and you still get a powerful clean. The other thing I love is they are so easy to store, especially in large quantities. I wish that I had these sheets when I was living in apartments because throwing a pack of Earth Breeze Eco Sheets on top of your laundry basket is a whole lot easier to manage than the bulky containers of detergent. If you never want to put detergent on your grocery list again, they offer a flexible subscription that you can adjust, pause, or cancel at any time with no hidden fees or penalties. And of course, it ships free every time. Earth Breeze comes in this plastic free packaging, which means it's easily recycled and less likely to clog up the landfills. And if you try Earth Breeze and it's just not your thing, you don't even have to return it. Just let them know and get a full refund, no questions asked. Go to earthbreeze.com slash squad to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash squad for 40% off your subscription. Thank you so much, Earth Breeds, for sponsoring this video. If you had to compile a list, and many have, of the cringiest moments on Sister Wives, Robin's purity speech will likely top that list. Back when the Browns still showcased their self-run at-home church services on the show, Robin gave a speech about the biggest regret of her life. The entirety of her first marriage which lasted nine years and produced three children. And oh yeah, those three children were present for this speech in which their mom spoke about how much she regretted her entire life prior to marrying Cody. I'm actually going to speak to the kids about the biggest mistake in my life. Every single one of you has this really great gift and it's called your purity and it's yours to give away to someone else. When you have your purity and you give it to your husband and your wife when you're married, you have a lot of happiness and a lot of blessings. One girl, she took her purity and she gave it to someone who begged for it. So she gave it away. She gave away her purity and he didn't respect it. He threw it on the ground. He broke it. This kid that I started dating um, was my first kiss and there was only one thing that he wanted. So I got pregnant. 
And she spent her whole life trying to get it back, but she, you only have one. And it broke her heart, and she spent her whole life being sad about it. And then when she finally found the guy that she was supposed to be with, she had to go to him and say, look, I gave away my purity to someone else. He kind of stole it from me. And this was supposed to be yours. But I gave it to someone else, and I'm so sorry. In front of her ex-husband's three children, she says that he stole her purity, which evokes concerns for me that non-consensual acts were perpetrated against Robin. That is a big accusation. Christine is shaking her head in this clip like she cannot believe that Cody is making all of the kids sit through this. And I am right there with you, Christine. In the third installment of the one-on-one -on -one tell all for season 18, Janelle, Christine, and Mary all acknowledged the sloppiness with which the blending of families happened when Robin came into the family. They admit the OG 13 kids were essentially sat down, told to shut up and accept all these changes that were happening and they better have a smile on their face too because oh yeah, another change that was happening at the same time was that now all of this was being filmed for TV. So you better not make your family look bad. That opening clip was from an early interview that Cody and the wives did doing press for this series. Cody says that he had major reservations about marrying Robin. He even had the ick because she was previously married. While his second wife, Janelle, who also had a husband before Cody, sits right behind him. It's been a bizarre narrative that Cody has hung on to while Christine has executed leaving him that she has to drag his name through the mud because that is the only way to make leaving him palatable. The public and a future spouse for Christine would not accept her being divorced if they thought she left a good man. Hmm. Well, this takes me back to the literal decade and a half we have watched Robin and Cody drag her ex-husband's name through the mud with no input from him to confirm or counter the narrative being painted on the show. It was very important to me to, to take responsibility for my actions because I had made this mistake. So when he asked me to marry him, I said yes. I wouldn't wish those experiences on anyone and I don't want our kids to go through that. When she told us this story uh, about having to get married, going through this bad marriage, I knew that she had corrected a great deal in her life. I have a second story of a girl who took care of her purity. And so when she found the right man, she was able to hand him her purity. This is yours, and this is the most ultimate gift, and it is yours. I believe that Cody and I were supposed to be together from day one. Because of my mistakes, I spent years and years and years trying to make it right. To say on national television that you wish the relationship that produced your first three children should have never happened is not a move I would make personally. It's not a good look in my opinion. Robin and Cody spent a lot of time and energy convincing the rest of their family Robin's three oldest children and the viewing public that Robin's ex-husband was a bad man. So much so that there was a very real and present danger that if something happened to Robin, the Brown family would have no legal claim to Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna. So Mary needed to legally divorce Cody so that Robin could legally marry him and Cody could swoop in and adopt Robin's oldest kids so that they would forever be safe from being taken away from the Browns. People Magazine just put out a teaser in which we see the introduction of David Woolley and Cody is convinced that Christine is on a campaign of trash talking against him. Here's the thing, for David's sake, Christine has to destroy my character or David doesn't feel like he can marry her because she left a good man. I'm not a bad guy. Christine I and I were just not in a good marriage. I, don't, I mean, I met David. Yeah. I don't think he feels that way at all. He just kind of feels like, you know what? A marriage didn't work out. I vetted and Robin that's differently it. than that. I yeah. vetted Robin hard because I had to know that she didn't leave a good man. You're still a good man, even though Christine left. She needs Get to it? stop telling my children I'm not then. Well, I'm just going to tell you. I'm not going to let that go well, ever. And okay, but I'm telling you, I met David, and yeah. he doesn't think ill of you. I but hope I'm Christine is choosing well. Right. Cody says, quote, for David's sake, Christine has to destroy my character, or David doesn't feel like he can marry her because she left a good man. 
I'm not a bad guy. Christine and I were just not in a good marriage. He goes on to say when Suki kind of says like, hey man, chill. David seems cool. He just thinks the marriage didn't work out. Cody says, quote, I vetted Robin differently than that. I vetted Robin hard because I had to know that she didn't leave a good man. Cody gets to do something that Robin's ex-husband has never been afforded the courtesy of, and that is to speak out with his side of the story to counter the narrative being portrayed. But there's a difference. All we know about Robin's first marriage is what Robin and Cody have told us. We don't have any corroboration to the narrative except for what they have told us or told their kids. Cody thinks that Christine is doing all this trash talking, which to be fair, Christine probably has done her fair share of trash talking him, but not to the degree he hopes she has. And Cody thinks that's why his kids and the public's perception of him is what it is. But Cody's adult children are basing their relationship with him off of their lived experience with him. And the public is basing their perception off of him with what we have seen on the show. Don't blame Christine. Heck, blame yourself or blame the editing team if you think you've gotten a bad edit. If Cody is not a bad guy and he and Christine just weren't a good match, why can't that also be true about Robin and her first marriage? Why can't that marriage have also just been not a good match? Without knowing all the specifics, all we can do is speculate. And with Robin saying things on camera, like her purity was kind of stolen, and these super vague insinuations of mistreatment that Robin and Cody have planted in the rest of their family and the public's head, it leads us to believe that Robin's ex was this really bad guy. As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out my second channel, Sarah Spills. A link for that will be in the description of this video. Follow me on Instagram, Threads, and X at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.